I told myself I wasn't gonna bring it up or talk about it in this vlog, so doing great so far. <laughs> I wanted to show you the new makeup that I got. One thing about me is if I'm at home, I'm gonna be wearing comfy clothes. I love IKEA, I find it quite soothing. Don't you think it's soothing? Not at all. <laughs> friends welcome back to a brand new vlog i'm excited to be vlogging again i feel like i took a little bit of a break and i've just i've been in a bit of a lull with my vlogging i don't know what it is exactly i think i've had a lot of stuff going on personally in my life like a lot of big exciting things going on which is amazing but it's just really consumed a lot of my time and attention and it's stuff that i don't necessarily want to talk about just quite yet on youtube but i will be hopefully coming up in the next few weeks, which is very exciting. Um, not to be that girl that's like a secret project or whatever, but just wait, it'll be worth it. It's gonna be so fun to take you along on a new journey. And no, I'm not having a baby, not quite yet. Um, that's not what the announcement is, but it's something very, very exciting. Um, anyway, why am I talking about this two seconds into my vlog? I told myself I wasn't gonna bring it up or talk about it in this vlog, so doing great so far <laughs> but anyway as i was saying i've been in a bit of a rut with youtube because i just feel like i don't know what to talk about like some days i feel like oh i could just chat to my vlog for hours and like catch up and just have so much to say but then most days recently i feel like why do, why would anyone care what i have to say or contribute on the internet i don't know i know it's just in my head because i love watching like people's boring daily life stuff just at home like pottering pottering <laughs> potting what am i trying to say i'm honestly confused i don't know what i'm trying to say um pottering about the house is that what i'm trying to say is that even a word i feel like maybe that's like a british thing that i picked up from watching all my british youtubers but just sort of like mundane stuff around the house is what i'm trying to get at um and then just like sharing thoughts and feelings and stuff as they go so that's the kind of content that i really like but i feel like when i'm actually filming that kind of content i feel like it's so boring and like nobody cares so Anyway, I'm just working through some of that right now. I made myself a lovely cup of Earl Grey tea with some milk in it and it's delish. I thought I would just sit down and open up a package with you to start this vlog because I ordered a bikini from Revolve, which is exciting. It came so fast. I love how fast Revolve shipping is. I got this because Josh and I are, it's cute. I got this because Josh and I are going on a six year anniversary trip this coming weekend. Ooh, I think I love it. Do I love it? I think I love it. It's reversible. Like how fun and summery and bright is that pattern? And also it's reversible. So I basically just got two bikinis for the price of one. That's what I'm telling myself anyway. I think I like the other side better, but honestly, both sides are pretty cute. I got the top and the bottom both in size medium. And I love that it has a little tie on the front because I feel like that's nice for, you know, disguising and distracting from the fupa situation, which is going strong at the moment. So, you know, we're working on that. But <laughs> I think it's really cute. I just thought it was such a fun summery color. And this brand was actually like one of the more affordable brands on Revolve. So I'm excited to try it on. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. Okay, this is the matching top which is really cute, but the inside outside does not match the inside out of the bottoms. So I'm a little bit confused. Like that's, that doesn't go together like at all. So that's kind of weird, but this side goes together. I got this bikini because Josh and I are going on a little anniversary trip to 30A. It's our six year wedding anniversary. Cannot believe it's been six years already. That's so crazy. Um, our anniversary is May 2nd, and so we are gonna go up to 30A and stay um, in my family's little beach condo, which is gonna be so lovely. They live super, super close, or they don't live there. It's like a vacation rental spot, but it is super close to Rosemary Beach, like just a couple minutes away. So I'm so excited to stay there and have a lovely weekend away with Josh. I'm most likely gonna vlog that trip, so that will be fun. I have just been getting some cute content of these brand new products from Way. And I am so excited about them. Honestly, this is not sponsored or anything, but they are very kind and they sent me these as like a little sneak preview so I could test them out and talk about them um, before they launch. I'm not sure if this video will be out by the time they launch, but I will link them below. 
um, if I can. Okay, I haven't even told you what the products are yet. This one is a supplement for thick and full hair. It's supposed to promote less shedding, and so it'll make your hair like look and feel thicker. And then this is their brand new scalp serum, which I have been enjoying so much. I think I've only used it twice so far. Like I, whenever I get out of the shower, I've put it in. It smells so, so good. Um, this scent is probably like one of my favorite scents that I've ever smelled in my life. So I would love it if they came out with a candle of this scent. I believe they're calling it the Cape Town scent. Josh just walked through the door, hang on. Okay, sorry, Josh just walked through the door from work and he was on hold with our insurance company, um, which is why that music was playing. It was like their hold music. But anyway, as I was saying, this scalp serum is in a scent called Cape Town, which is cute because Josh is from Cape Town, South Africa. Um, he was born there. And anyway, it smells so good. I don't really know how to explain the scent though. I Maybe I'm gonna look it up on their website and then read the notes to you because it's very unique and very beautiful. It's like fresh and clean smelling. I just found the scent description on the brief that they sent me. So let me tell you all the notes. It says top notes of ginger, basil, and spearmint, middle notes, tomato leaves, green fig. You guys know I've been talking about how tomato leaves and like tomato vine is my favorite scent right now. I'm obsessed with it, literally tomato candle right here. I'm obsessed. And then base notes of ambroxan and wet grass. So it sounds interesting. It's very fresh and clean smelling and just like kind of spa-like and beautiful. So I'd really love a candle in this scent. Oh, I honestly I could smell this all day. It's so, so good. But I've been putting this in my hair as soon as I get out of the shower. Um, and you're not supposed to wash it out or anything. You just put it in and it's kind of like skincare for your scalp, which is really cool. And here are the benefits that it says that it does. It says it helps foster a healthy, balanced scalp, helps to soothe irritation from styling, like a tight pony, excessive pulling from detangling, etc. And most importantly for me, it says it helps to promote the appearance of thicker, fuller hair hair um it supports less shedding and helps your hair like be stronger which is so so amazing so i'm very very excited to continue trying this out and i will let you guys know when i notice any results it's just a few minutes later now and i've changed because josh and i are gonna go for a little walk by the lake well i'm gonna walk josh is gonna run and i've actually already went on a 50 minute long walk this morning um but I realized that I still haven't got my 10,000 steps for the day yet. So I thought I would join him and walk while he's doing his evening run. So I'm trying to be better about getting my steps in because I feel like I just feel better and it's just a nice thing to do. And it feels really great when I have that little, when I can tick it off the list that I've got my 10,000 steps for the day. But this is my favorite little t-shirt lately. I think I've already talked about it on the blog several times, but it's from Revolve. And then these are my Fabletics little biker shorts. They're like, zebra print yellow the lighting is a bit weird but i think you can see but anyway i'm feeling comfy and cute so let's go get our steps in okay we just got home and i wanted to show you the proof i did it Ten thousand steps a little over ten thousand steps so that's very good. We decided to pick up dinner on the way home because um, we just didn't feel like cooking so late at night because then we wouldn't be eating until super late. So anyway, it's like 8.15 now and we're eating some burgers that we picked up from Montrose Street Market, which we never really go to. I don't know why. I got a burger salad. I'm not sure why. I just wasn't feeling the bread today. I'm not like keto or anything, <laughs> but this just sounded and looks really good. And Josh got a smash burger that looks so yummy. It has like barbecue sauce and bacon and all kinds of stuff on it. Is it Caramelized good? onion, it's delicious. Anyway, we're gonna eat dinner now, watch Downton Abbey, and I will see you tomorrow. It's the next day now. I forgot to start the vlog earlier, so here we are in the car. Josh is- Cleaning my nose, thank you. Picking his nose. <laughs> cleaning. Oh, cleaning his nose. He does have a napkin, so that's fine. Okay, thank you. We're shopping around. Um, we just got to West Elm. We're gonna go to Ikea and then go get a little bit of dinner at Millennia, which sounds lovely, but I thought I would just take you along for our evening. It's almost 6 p.m. already. It's so exciting to be like looking at furniture. <laughs> Here. 
chair. It's pretty cute. Two dollars for the chair and the cushion. We're at IKEA now. And the new. Not bad. Not bad. We haven't been here in forever. I love IKEA. I find it quite soothing. Don't you think it's soothing? Not at all. <laughs> makeup and it makes me feel like icky like worse than I looked without it and then some days like today I put it on and I'm like wait a minute I feel so much cuter and I just like am excited to film more just because I feel more confident in my skin so very happy with my <laughs> with my makeup today um but anyway I wanted to show you that I just made the most delicious hazelnut chocolate hazelnut latte with oat milk it is so good I filmed it for a reel that I'm posting for the brand but this stuff is such a game changer, you guys. I'm working with them on the reel, but not on YouTube. But I feel like I just need to shout them out because this is some of the best stuff I've ever tasted. It's so good. The ingredients in this are so clean and it literally tastes better than Nutella. Like I can't believe how good it is. These are the ingredients, okay? Organic hazelnuts, organic coconut sugar, organic cacao powder and bean, organic vanilla powder, and pink sea salt. I am so impressed. It has no refined sugar. It's totally plant-based. So this is like a vegan chocolate hazelnut latte, and it is so, so good. If you're looking for a yummy, sweet treat that is more on the cleaner, healthier side, definitely recommend this from Fine and Raw. It's so, so, so good. I'll link the brand below. I don't even know where you can buy it, but... And all of their chocolates are handmade in Brooklyn, which is cool. So yeah, just wanted to shout them out because it's so yummy. Okay, I'm just sitting here enjoying my latte, and I wanted to show you the new makeup that I got. Um, I think I got everything, like, last week, and I've been loving it so, so much. Maybe, like, two weeks ago, actually, I got it. But anyway, I got four new little bits of makeup from Sephora, this is the mascara that I'm using. I'm trying to see like how much I like it. I I think it's really good. It is a tiny bit um, more, I don't wanna say clumpy because it's not clumpy, but it's just not quite as separating as my MAC Extended Play mascara that I've been using for years. I think I like the formula of this one better, but maybe like the brush I think I like the brush from the MAC Extended Play better because it's just a bit more separating um, and a little bit more lengthening, I think. But this is, it's still good. The formula is really nice. It's clean. I love that it like washes off super, super easily. Um, I don't have to like scrub or anything to get it off. So I have been enjoying this and I've been wearing it pretty much every day um, that I've been wearing makeup over the last couple weeks since I got it. And then this Fenty um contour stick has been a game changer i love it so much i'm not like doing any crazy like intense contouring with it um i have it in the shade mocha 03 and it's called match sticks match sticks i like that it doesn't have any like sparkle in it or anything like my regular bronzer from hourglass it's a bit like glowy and like adds a little bit of that you know sparkliness but yeah i really really like this i feel like i use it more as like a bronzer because i don't really know how to contour exactly i've kind of put it like a little bit higher on my cheekbones because i've seen people on tiktok say that that's like better and it lifts the face so i don't know i just have really been liking it i think it's a really really great shade if you have a similar skin tone to me oh my gosh it just started raining that's very cozy it hasn't rained in a while it's kind of nice um okay moving on with new makeup that i got i got this anastasia beverly hills brow wiz and honestly i love it mostly well i probably shouldn't do that because they're already done i mostly got it because i love the little spoolie it's like such a good spoolie that like really gets in there and feels really good to brush my brows with and the little nib on this thing is so tiny that it's like impossible to mess up your brows. I just kind of like scribble them in. My brows aren't looking their best lately, mostly because I decided that I was gonna let them just like be themselves and grow in and like not really shape them or get them done. And I feel like it's time to um, get them done. So anyway, I'm gonna do that probably later today or tomorrow. But I feel like this Brow Wiz is like a pretty classic product that everybody like knows about and has tried. So yeah, I really like it. It's just simple, easy to use and just like adds a little bit of just fills in the gaps where i need it and lastly i got a new kosa's lip oil you guys know i'm obsessed with kosa's 
adore them so much i'm still using the lip oil in the shade fruit juice on my cheeks for blush because i just think it's like the best blush color ever for me and i just love like the finish of it it's really glowy and pretty even though it's not supposed to be blush it's just a lip oil um but this one is in the shade unhooked and i just find that it is like the perfect sort of nude lip color for me i already have some on but i'm just gonna put some more it feels so nice on my lips it's like nice and hydrating i just think it is the prettiest most like subtle natural nude gloss for my lips and it stays on really well and i just think it's really pretty so i've been loving that and i like that it's not like super sticky or anything it just feels really nice and soft and hydrating and like the perfect amount of color so I'm loving that. Kosas is definitely one of my favorite makeup brands right now. Like I just love everything that they do. I want to actually try out their new foundation. I've yet to try a Kosas product that I wasn't like fully in love with. So yeah, I really like this brand and I want to try some more stuff from them. But this is the newest addition to my Kosas collection and I love it a lot. It is still raining and feeling super cozy out here. Can you see? I don't know if you can see it because it's hard to see rain on camera but there you go here i'll quickly show you my little cozy rainy day work from home outfit if you could even call it an outfit it's basically pajamas <laughs> one thing about me is if i'm at home i'm gonna be wearing comfy clothes which is most of the time 99 percent of the time but i'm feeling so comfy i really really love this big oversized nike hoodie i got a couple months ago it's just like a really cute brown color got my hair in a little spiky claw clip situation earrings having like a little bit of makeup and jewelry and like doing a little something with my hair always makes me feel more put together so that i don't feel like such a sloth when i'm wearing comfy like pjs to hang out all day but anyway i'm actually about to sit down and edit this vlog now so i think i'm gonna end it here i'm not sure how much i filmed but i say that every single time and then my vlogs end up being super long every time i feel like this is a very homey vlog like we didn't really get out and do very much in this vlog so let me know if you enjoy these types of vlogs where i'm just like hanging out at the house like i alluded to in the beginning of this video there is a lot changing around here in the next few weeks be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the new fun stuff that's going to be happening and thanks so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed it i love you guys and i'll see you in another video very very soon bye